Rock Transformations Unit Lesson 2.3 Energy's Role in Forming Rocks Activity 2 Making Sediment with Hard Candy Here's what your student screen looks like for this part of the lesson. These are the model sedimentary rocks we made in an earlier lesson. How is real sedimentary rock made? Sediment undergoes compaction and cementation. How did you model it using candy? We put pressure on the crushed candy sediment in a cup. We will use whole pieces of hard candy to represent igneous rock. Hard candy is made from hot liquid that cools and hardens, just as hot magma cools to form igneous rock. In today's activity, you'll work in groups to model how sediment forms. You will be testing to see if both sedimentary rock and igneous rock can turn into sediment. You'll shake the jars to model weathering. Energy from the sun causes weather, like wind and rain. The force of wind or flowing water breaks rocks down into smaller pieces. Weathering rocks. The crushed hard candy pieces you made in Chapter 1 represented sedimentary rock. The whole pieces of hard candy represent igneous rock. Step 1. Decide which pair will weather the sedimentary rock and which pair will weather the igneous rock. Step 2. Take turns weathering the rocks by shaking the jars. Students, take turns weathering the rocks. After 1 to 2 minutes, stop shaking the rocks. Switch jars with the other pair in your group and observe how the rocks transformed. Then answer the questions. We started this activity with igneous and sedimentary rocks. What do we have now? You might respond, both igneous and sedimentary rocks ended up making small pieces of rock sediment. Is it still the same matter? Yes, it is still the same material, candy, just in smaller pieces. Could you make sediment from both types of rock? Yes. Both igneous and sedimentary rocks can form sediment. Next, we'll watch a video that models how magma can form. Let's pay close attention to how the whole candies, or igneous rocks, and the crushed candies, or sedimentary rocks, transform. Students, play the video. What happened in the video? You might respond, the whole candies and the crushed candies both melted. Was magma made from both types of rock? Yes. Both igneous and sedimentary rocks can form magma. Where did the energy to melt the hard candy come from? You would respond, heat from the hot plate. Where does the energy to melt rocks come from? Heat from the Earth's interior. One of the reasons we use hard candy instead of real rock in this model is because hard candy melts at a much lower temperature than actual rock material. Therefore, we were actually able to melt it. We would not be able to produce the high temperature at which rock melts deep in the earth. Where did the energy to weather the hard candy come from? You might respond, from shaking the cup. Where does the energy to weather real rocks come from? From the sun. What do you observe about the real world time scale and the time scale of the model? Students discuss the model and compare time scales. The processes we just modeled and observed take much longer with real rocks on Earth. End of activity. Be sure to complete all your student work and amplify for this activity before moving on.